Thank you for this beautiful Sunday. This is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and will be glad in it. A day you have set aside for us to come together to seek your face. A day of power, a day of, re of resurrection. It's the day that the power of resurrection, I mean, through the power of resurrection, our Lord Jesus Christ was raised from the graveyard. It's a day of renewal. It's a day of revival. It's a day of rejoicing. It's a day of joy. It's a day of gladness. It's a day of happiness. It's a day of celebration of your presence and power and glory. Father, we have come this night, O oh God. Lord, we are praying, O oh God, that that power of resurrection will bring a revival into every one of our lives tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we are praying that tonight, O oh God, whatever is dead in our spiritual life, whatever thing that is dead in our family life, Whatever thing that is dead in our business life, whatever thing that is dead, in fact, in every area of our life, oh God, life will come from heaven and it will flow into every area of our lives and life will come into us in Jesus' name. Amen. We pray that tonight, oh God, every one of us God be the glory are going to receive the supernatural touch of heaven February, upon February, our I, lives, I, even I tonight, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father, for, uh, for hearing our prayers. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. We want to spend these few minutes by the... To appreciate God, to exalt God. When Jacob was praising God and he was, uh, and they told him that uh, his brother Esau was coming for him and he's coming with uh, almost about 400 people who want to come and uh, attack him and all that. You know what he said? He said, God, he said, Oh Lord God, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac. He said, I am not even worthy of the least of your mercies that you have shown unto not even he said, I'm not from power to the power. Least. The fire to evangelize the word of God is also strong. It is a weekly poster for every forward thinking Christian. It's the Thursday revival and evangelism training service. Here, God's people are fired up and revived by the Holy Spirit. Thursday revival and evangelism training service with Pastor Dr. W. F. Queen and a special power night every third Thursday evening. The apostolic, prophetic, and evangelistic man of God, God's service. Pastor Dr. W. F. Queen, a witness, you too can witness this Christ's power to save join us. Your testimony is sure. It is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. Everything boils down to the mercy of God. Everything boils down to the, to the goodness of God. He Open your mouth and appreciate God heaven. once again tonight. Let's give him it's all the right praises. Let's give him all the adoration. But Let's thank him before the people of God. The Bible tells us in the book of 1 Thessalonians, it says God is faithful. God is faithful. Open your mouth and begin to praise him. No matter what happened, no matter the challenges, no matter the difficulties here and there, no matter the austerity, the economic recession and, and difficulties here and there, God is ever faithful. Open your mouth and begin to praise God. Let's give him all the praises tonight. I want to hear us praying, brethren. Open your mouth and appreciate God. I'm not hearing our voices again. Please open your mouth and appreciate God. Let's thank God because of whom he, are, whom he is. Is the Almighty God, is the everlasting God, is the omnipotent God, is the omniscient God, is the great I am that I am, is a never dying God. Why don't you open your mouth and give Him all the praises tonight? Let's thank Him once again, even for your own life. We need to bless the name of the Lord. You are a living testimony, I am a living testimony. Open your mouth and give all the glory unto God. Are we hearing my voice at all? Please open your mouth and pray. Let's honor God and praise God tonight. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen.
Praise God, Alleluia. Praise God, Amen. Praise God, Alleluia. Praise God, Amen. Praise Him, praise God, Alleluia. Praise God, Amen. Praise God, Alleluia. Praise God, Amen. Amen. Praise God, Alleluia. Praise God, Amen. Praise God, Alleluia. Praise God, Amen. Praise Him. Praise God, Alleluia. Praise God, Amen. Praise God, Alleluia. Praise God, Amen. Amen. Praise God, Alleluia. Praise God, Amen. Praise God, Alleluia. Praise God, Amen. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, always. always praise the Lord. Always praise the Lord. With all my heart, praise the Lord. With all my heart. Always, hallelujah, my Lord is good, my Lord is good, my Lord is good, is good to me, hallelujah, my Lord is good, my Lord is good, my Lord is good. Is good to be. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. My redeemer, you are worthy to be. Oh, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. I read him, you are worthy to be praised. Amen. Amen. We want to worship God again. We want to appreciate God for all our pastors, all our leaders, all our brothers, all our sisters. It takes a lot of sacrifices, I must confess to you. Some of them, they have to deny themselves late in the night to be able to join the prayer meeting on Thursday and so many other days like us. And some of them, we have to leave their work. They have to leave one thing or the other just because of this prayer meeting. We want to say, Father, thank you very much for all our pastors, all our brothers, all our sisters who have been joining us online and God have been blessing us. God have been doing wonders in every life testimonies are bound of the great things of the marvelous and the wonderful thing god of heaven has always been doing open your mouth and begin to appreciate god this night let's lift up our voices and begin to say father thank you once again oh lord thank you for the demonstration of your power thank you once again for your servant you are using oh god thank Thank you once again for what you have done in the time past. Thank you for what you are doing presently. Thank you for what you are going to do subsequently, oh God. Open your mouth and begin to appreciate him. Let's thank him for bringing us to this new week, a week of joy, a week of revival, a week of, you know, of glory, a week that God is going to do something spectacular, something glorious, something marvelous in every one of our lives. It's time for us once again to open our mouth and begin to appreciate God. And say, Father, thank you once again, because even though you have helped us, oh God, and we are grateful unto you. We are grateful unto you. We are grateful unto you. Thank you, God of heaven, oh Lord. In Jesus' name, 
we are free. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. I'm reading from Psalm 85. Please, if you have your Bible there, please turn your Bible with me. That is where we are taking our text from tonight. So that before we pray, Psalm 85, I'm going to read from verse 4. Psalm 85, I will read from verse 4. Please turn your Bible with me. Those of us who are connected online, please unmute yourself so that you can hear me. We can hear one another. Please unmute yourself now. Please, Psalm 85. We are going to read from verse 4. We are praying. Our prayer tonight is concentrated on God's mercy. Show us the mercy, O oh God. That is our prayer tonight. Prayer for God's mercy. Prayer for God's mercy. What is that thing? That, you know, when we talk about God's mercy, we are looking for soft landing. They want God to do something great in our lives. Without the mercy of God, what can you receive? Without the mercy of God, can we receive revival? Without the mercy of God, can we receive healing? Without the mercy of God, can our life be straight? Can, can, can our life be straightened? Without the mercy of God, can all our challenges be taken away? No, not at all. We need the mercy of God at every area of our life, in every situation of our lives. Look at Psalm 85. Psalm 85, and I'm going to read from verse 4. I'm going to read a good number of, of, of uh, you know, Bible references. Please just uh, go along with us. In Psalm 85, I'm going to read from verse 4. He said, turn us, O God, of our salvation. Here was the prayer that these people of God were praying, and they were asking God. It was the whole nation, prayer for the whole nation. They were asking God, O Lord, turn us. Just like we are praying for ourselves now. Just as we are praying for our church now. Just as we are praying for our family, individual families now. Just as we are praying for every one of us, you know, represented online. And we bind ourselves together and say, God, Turn us, O oh God, of our salvation. The God that we are serving is the God of salvation. Is the God that has all the power to save. He has all the power to deliver. He has all the power to liberate. He has all the power to, you know, to give freedom to those who have been bound. He said, turn us, O oh God, of our salvation. And then he, he said, cause thy anger towards us to cease. What they were praying for, he said, God, you have been angry against us. You have been angry against our prayer. You have been angry against everything about us. He said, turn us, oh God. Because without you turning us around, nothing will happen. Nothing can be done. And then in verse 5, he said, will thou be angry with us forever? They were pleading with the Lord. They were begging God. They were asking God. They were beseeching him and saying, God, please don't be angry with us forever. Looking at the situation all around us, looking at the at our family life looking at our individual lives looking at our finances looking at the church of the living god i went to the house fellowship just this evening i'm telling you the whole thing everything is just in a deplorable state i'm telling you there's no there's no life in the in the in the house fellowship everything is so cold i begin to wonder and say god this wasn't the way we started this thing in those days when we, when we were having house fellowship in fact, people will bring prayer requests. It was time of joy. It was time of excitement. It, you know, a time of revival in the house fellowship. Today, all those things have disappeared. It has disappeared to thin air. No more life in the house fellowship. No more power in the house fellowship. Even the, even the house leader that is even leading, everything is just, you know, it's a shamble. There's nothing to write on about. We want to ask God, without being angry with us forever, oh God, Without draw out thy anger to all generations. Look at verse 6. It, the emphasis was so clear. He said, We thou not revive us again. That's why we are praying for revival tonight, brothers and sisters. That's why we are asking God for revival. Many of us we are so lost in all our activities. We carry benches up and down. We do this one. We jump from one place to another. And then we feel that we can replace the place of God with activities. No, not at all. We thou not revive us again. 
and reposition our life again and begin to do something new in our life and begin to bring a transformation and reformation into every one of our life. Will that not revive us again? You have done it before, you will do it again. Revival is what we are asking God for. Revival in our soul. Revival in our spirit. Revival in our family. When, when we are revived, in fact, you see that there'll be excitement. Nobody will push anybody. Go and evangelize. Go and preach the gospel. Read the Bible. Wake up and do your quiet time. Nobody. Because you are conscious of God. You are conscious of the presence of God. You are conscious of God's glory. He said, we do not revive us again, that thy people may rejoice in thee. In verse 7. He says, show us thy mercy. That's what I'm going to. He says, show us your mercy. Everything we want to receive tonight is, bo I mean, boils down on the mercy of God. Without the mercy of God, what can we achieve? Without the mercy of God, what can we get from there? He says, show us thy mercy, O God, O Lord, and grant unto us thy salvation. In Osea chapter 6, please turn your Bible with me. Osea chapter 6, please quickly turn your Bible. We are working with time, and I want us to take to take our little time to pray. Osea chapter 6. The book of Osea chapter 6. I'm going to read verses 1 and 2 there. The book of Osea chapter 6. From verses 1 and 2. He said, come and let us return unto the Lord. We have gone astray. We have gone, we have abandoned the worship of the Almighty God. Look at the way many of us were, were serving God in those days. I remember many, many years ago, we we'll wake up very early in the morning. In fact, we we'll even tarry. We we'll even spend quality time in the night to pray. Very early in the morning, as early as 5 a.m., we are already up for, 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 for morning cry. Is this still happening again today? In, in those days, whereby you see people, they will stand up inside the vehicle and they minister the word of God. Is this still happening again today? The way, even when we are going every from one place to another, even to give ordinary track now, I mean to give track now, people find it so difficult. Even to give and build in preparation for GCK, people find it, they will keep it, they prefer to keep it inside the Bible. And that was, and that is all. Nobody for them to give it to. They, they see people all around. They are not excited there. They are not excited about, you know, bringing people to the house of God. And many lives have been lost in this direction. That's why he said, come and let us return unto the Lord. For he has torn and he will heal us. That's what we are praying for. Oh God, heal us again. Heal our spiritual life. Heal our wounded, broken out of God. Our the mighty falling and, and the weapon of what perish. We want to ask God for that spiritual healing. He said he has smitten and he will bind us up. Then in verse 2, he said, after two days, will he revive us again? In the third day, he will raise us up and we shall live in his sight. Tonight, brethren, we have come before the Lord. We want to have come before God. We want to ask God. If you are hearing my voice, we want to want to drop our Bible. And we want to say, Father, here we are tonight, oh God. Turn us and we shall be turned, oh God. Open your mouth and begin to pray to God tonight. Let's cry mightily unto God tonight for help and say, God, every one of us represented on this online prayer meeting, we want to ask God and say, God, turn us and we shall be torn. Look at the state of our spiritual life, brethren. Are you happy with the way things are going on? Are you so satisfied with the way things are going? Don't let us be like Esau. Esau said, I have more than enough. Do you have enough? You don't even have anything. Nothing is there. We want to cry to God and say, God, oh Lord, turn us and we shall be turned, oh God. Turn us unto righteousness. Turn us once again, oh God. Open your mouth and begin to cry to God this hour tonight and say, God, we are returning back unto you once again, oh God. With all our hearts, with all our soul, with our family members, with everything that is inside us, we are coming back once again unto you, God. Open your mouth and pray. I want to hear us praying, brethren. Open your mouth and call upon the Lord. Or mute yourself, please. Or mute yourself and let's call upon the Lord. I want to hear our voices. Open your mouth and begin to talk to God this night. And tell the Lord and say, God, 
gracious redeemer be gracious unto us once again O lord show us your mercy O lord god of heaven and grant unto us your revival grant unto us your or your salvation grant unto us your righteousness and purity and holiness O god let's call upon the name of the lord tonight and say god here we are tonight in your presence O god Lord, in your presence that is fullness of joy, in your presence that is revival, in your presence that is power, in your presence that is strength, in your presence that is might, in your presence that is safety, in your presence that's where we can have refuge. Why don't you open your mouth and call upon the Lord tonight and say, God of heaven, oh Lord, do something new and great in every one of our lives, oh God. Whatever thing that is dead in our spiritual life, let the life of God from heaven come into us tonight. Life will come from heaven. Life will come once again upon our spirit, upon our soul. Every deadness, everything we evaporate in the name of Jesus Christ, every spiritual blindness to be taken away. Oh God, open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Almighty God, I'm asking my Father once again, oh God, Lord, that to show us your mercy once again tonight, oh King of glory. God and we shall be torn. Turn us once again unto yourself, O oh God. Almighty God, look at the condition of every one of our hearts, O oh God. Lord, the heart is cold. The heart is cold and lethargic, O oh God. Almighty God, how long are we going to remain in this spiritual state? O oh God, my Father, once again, O oh Lord, that Almighty God, let the, let the altar of the Lord in our in our spirit, in our family, let it be repaired once again. Let this broken altar be repaired, oh God. Almighty God, I'm asking my Father once again, visit us tonight by your mighty power, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. In, in the book of in the days of Nehemiah, if you look at the book of Nehemiah very well, time will not permit us to read it. But I'm going to just tell us what happened here. You know, Nehemiah was one of those captives that was taken far away to a strange land, and he was serving this king at that point in time. But do you know, a time came, some of one of his brethren brought news to him. They call his name Ananai. And when he came to give him the message of what actually happened to the Jews, that happened to all the brethren and everything, look at what he said. And they, he said, that man said, and they said unto me, the remnant that are left of the captivity there in the, pro, in, the, the, in the province are in great affliction and reproach. Let's look into our, to ourselves, to our churches now. Is it not happening right now? Captivity everywhere. You just be hearing this one. Some just like even GS even said it. Some strange sickness we never hear before. This one is having cancer of the breast. This one is having cervical cancer. This one is having one mysterious thing. This one is having that one. It never happened before. All of a sudden you begin to hear some things happening to this one. Kidney problem. Cancer here, cancer there, which was not normal. I'm telling you, he said, the remnant that are left of the captivity in the province, they are in great affliction and reproach. He said, the wall of Jerusalem, oh, the wall of Jerusalem, which can be likened to our own spiritual life, the wall of prayer, the wall of evangelism, the wall of, you know, the, 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 wall, of, the wall of holiness and purity, everything has almost collapsed. He said, the wall of Jerusalem also is broken down. And the gate thereof are, are born with fire. And this man, look at what he said. The Bible said, and it came to pass when I heard this word, when I heard these things, that I, you know, he said, he started crying. He started weeping. He said, I sat down and wept and mourned certain days. Why? Because the wall of Jerusalem is broken. People are in captivity. People are in great reproaches. We want to cry to God. Lord, you are the only one that can liberate your people. You are the only one that can bring us out of every captivity of God. All the captivity of sin, all the captivity of secret sin, backsliding here, but it's captivity, all the reproaches that we find ourselves. The wall of holiness is broken down. You see what is coming out of the land of the mouth of some people now. 
you begin to wonder at this one Christian, at this one believer, have they even experienced the salvation that we are talking about? We want to cry to God this night. We want to pray and say, God, oh Lord, have mercy. Turn us once again. Rebuild the broken wall of our spiritual life. Rebuild every broken wall, the broken wall of holiness, the broken wall of righteousness, the broken wall of love among us. Love is even as if it's, it has even evaporated. Why don't you open your mouth and begin to pray to God now and say, God, once again, do it again in every 